Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Welcome back to Shadowverse Weekly News. Biggest thing that happened this past week, of course, is the recent nerfs to Swordcraft, Regal Wildcat having its Accelerate removed, and Honorable Thief having its defense reduced by one. Community reception to the nerf has been mixed, and by mixed I mean most people don't like it. I've already uploaded a video on my thoughts on the nerf, you can check it out in the link down below or on screen now. But if you want to see actual real world examples of what the nerf has done, you can check out the results of the past few JCG Shadowverse Open tournaments. JCG is an online Japanese tournament, but it's open to everyone, and they've already held a couple of events for Fortune's Hand. Some before and some after the nerf. The good people of the R Shadowverse subreddit have made analysis posts of the results. I encourage you to check it out. Speaking of high performing tournament decks, Shadowverse has added a few that you can check out in game from the top left of the main screen or from the deck screen. The list of known bugs has been updated yet again on the official Shadowverse website. If you're having problems, make sure to check it out. Maybe it's already an issue that they're aware of. And if it's not, make sure to report it. Some good news here is that two bugs have been fixed as of June 25th. One of them being Garuda Wings of Paradise and Heretic Priest reducing cost to zero, and the other being issues with practice mode AI defense values. The Lucky Draw event has ended. Hopefully all of you have played private matches every day of the event, unlike me, who forgot and probably missed out on the Thousand Packs Grand Prize. <sighs> Mistakes were made. Some sad news this week as Bago Um announces that it will no longer be updating and that its Discord server bought Gobu, which allowed Shadowverse card lookup, will be discontinued. The website was a really valuable resource to the community, acting as a repository for a bunch of Shadowverse assets, as well as having its own deck builder inside as well. Fortunately, some have already taken up the mantle of trying to replace this resource. Lucille of Tempo Storm recently released their Shadowverse Discord bot to the public. It is still in development, but it is very cool nonetheless. Finally, a new Shadowverse Weekend event was held last weekend. If you guys didn't know, Shadowverse Weekend is a regular tournament held by the official SVO Esports team, but it's more casual, trying to get people eased into the competitive side of Shadowverse. It's always free to enter and there's prizes to be won as well. Congratulations to those who went 5-0 in this last event. Now time for the Community Showcase. On the last episode, I announced that there is a Google form where you can submit your favorite fan creations. It could be made by you, it could be made by somebody else. Submissions have the chance to be featured on videos like these, or even on the official SVO underscore esports Twitter. In fact, some of the creations you're about to see are from that form, and I never would have seen it without it. So if you have awesome content you'd like to share, please go check it out in the link below. All right, let's take a look at the awesome creations for this week. Links to everything in the description down below, as always. Finally, it's time for some announcements. The West Shadowverse Open July Cup is happening tonight, the Swiss stage that is, and the top eight will be broadcasted tomorrow. Make sure you tune in at twitch.tv slash svo underscore esports. If you want to sign up for future events like the upcoming Southeast Asia Oceania Cup happening next weekend, make sure to check out svo.gg for all the information. Tempo Storm is holding another Operation Tokyo tournament, Operation Tokyo 2. Very creative name, I like it. As before, one of the prizes is round trip and lodging to Japan to spectate the Shadowverse World Grand Prix at the end of the year. But there's a ton of other cool prizes to be won as well, including real-life Shadowverse cards, Shadowverse tapestries, an autograph board from voice actress Minase Inori, who voices Anya in Shadowverse, and of course, cold hard cash. Make sure to check out all of the details in the link in the description down below. And that is a wrap on this week's episode of Shadowverse Weekly News. Make sure to tune in next week, like the video if you did, don't if you didn't, subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future. Of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons, really appreciate your support. See you all next time. Bye bye